Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Onyi Ude and I'm still your favorite farm girl. If this is your first time on this channel, I talk about animal farming, pig and fish especially. And if this is the kind of content you like, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. So without wasting much of your time, I would like us to go right into today's topic. <laughs> of the video you already know what I'm about to talk about so I'm about to talk about how to start up a big farm important things you need to put in place to start up a big farm what you need to know what in fact everything you need to know before starting up a big farm and this information I'm about to share to you here would be really helpful to those that are still new into the game that have the intentions but they don't know how to go about it it's really helpful to them and for you watching please like this video so it can reach at as many that want it as many that needs to see it and if you have somebody that is interested in having this kind of information i'm going to be sharing here today please send it to the person okay so let's go right into the video. so i have few points few points you should Put in place what you should know before you start up a pig farm okay so in case you see me looking down i had to jot down the points so pardon me i want know the pattern of pig farm you want to run now it's either you run a breeding pattern of pig farming or you run a fattening pattern of pig farming what is breeding and what is fattening fattening is buying either piglets or growers Feed them for months till they get to the market size, then you sell. That is fattening. Okay? So breeding is even after they, after they attain the market size, you keep them for farrowing. That's when you keep them for, for cross breeding. And for breeding, you have to feed them, feed the piglets, and you know how much that can cost. You know the situation of things in Nigeria now. So it, it costs a lot. But for those that have money, it's really not a problem. For those that that can afford it but for you that you're still starting and probably you don't have a, you don't have much like you're on a budget you have to know the one that you choose you just you just have to know what you're getting into okay so it's either you choose breeding or fattening but for me if i'm to advise you can actually start with both but you just have to like pick little do do it little by little don't you know don't try to like do it too much for those that don't really have much okay you probably let's say you're on a budget like you don't have money you don't you don't really have much money to start okay you can just do little of breeding and little of fattening okay so i hope i've explained what fattening and breeding is so just know the pattern of pig pig farm you want to run is either you, you go with fattening or you go with breeding okay so the second point is have knowledge of what you are about to do have knowledge of what you're about to go into okay don't just do the business because okay your head is lucrative yes pig farming is lucrative and all but if you don't have basic knowledge of pigs and pig farming you could end up not making profits you could end up using your um, piglets and also you could end up getting frustrated and you know closing the farm okay so you just need to have basic knowledge of pig so please invest in knowledge invest in knowledge find someone trustworthy that is doing the business and succeeding in it that you could learn from get training from and also train your workers train the people that is going to work for you train them to have basic knowledge to have knowledge of the business to have knowledge of pigs to have knowledge of how to make profit from the business okay and also watch videos helpful videos nice videos that could that you could learn from it will help you you know know about the business don't just enter the business without having basic and proper knowledge of this business okay it will save you a lot it will save you a lot of stress and a lot of had i known please invest in invest in knowledge okay. so for the third point start with what you can afford so don't start with the idea of having 100 pigs overnight start with what you can afford because if you decide to have 100 pigs overnight you might end up getting frustrated because you don't have money to be able to feed them 
okay the price of feed right now is on the high side it's really really on the high side so please start with what you can afford start with the pigs that you can be able to feed for example you say it's breeding that you want to go into for breeding if you get a good breed the minimum the pig can actually give you at least if it's a good breed the minimum is at least six some do some give birth to five at least minimum from five to ten to twelve okay some even give go ahead at giving birth to 14 piglets okay so imagine if you sell for example you want to start with 100 pigs or 50 pigs and you want to crossbreed them let's say each so gives birth to like 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 like that how are you going to be able to feed them how are you going to be able to manage it how are you going to be able to maintain it so that is why i'm 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 Lay emphasis on buy what you can, start with what you can afford, start with what you can feed. The price of feed now in the market is really, really expensive. Like everybody in Nigeria knows that morning price is quite different from afternoon price. Afternoon price is different from evening price. Monday price is different from Tuesday price. So every day when we wake up, as you are waking up, things are increasing. So don't start with lots of pigs you might not be able to feed them for example for those that are on a budget you, you could start with two so and one bow okay you could start with that when you do that you know with time with time with time you start expanding and you'll be able to feed them and also you will learn from it that if this if it's your first time going into the business but if you say you want to start with for example 100 100 piglets you might not be able to manage them because of lack of money because you will feed the piglets feed their mothers and also feed the ones that you used to crossbreed them so you know it's a lot it's going to be a lot but for those that have money trust me it's really nothing it's nothing because the more money you invest into farming the more more profits but for those that, that are low on cash you just have to start small start with what you can afford so you can manage it so you don't end up getting frustrated so for those that just that don't want to breed that want to fatten you can as well start with five three two so that you can be able to buy the feed and feed them okay because it is what you impute that is what you will get pigs are good converter of, of feed so once you give them good food they convert it and before you know it, the, you, you, you quickly get to their market, market weight and before you know it, you're already selling and you start another one again. By so doing, you'll be expanding. Rome wasn't built in a day. You expand gradually, gradually, gradually. So please and please start small. Start small, start with what you can afford. Now, don't look at your neighbor or don't look at somebody that started with 1,000 pigs. If you have money for five, please buy five and stop procrastinating oh when i have money for this when you have money for that things just keep on getting expensive so if you have money for five start with five with time you grow you might start with two pigs and in one year you are you're having like 30 pigs that's how it is if you're crossbreeding that is just how it is so please guys make sure you start with what you can afford please start with what you can afford the fourth point choose and build a proper pig pen okay choose and build a proper pig pen like for most of you that have been following me that knows um what i preach on my channel you already know the kind of pig pen i would advise you to have okay but it is fine if you don't want to go for that one for those that are still coming into the business okay so for me i would advise you to go for the no small pig pen so it's cheap to construct and it's also easy to maintain very very easy to maintain it is also you can also do it on your own it's just something that as somebody that is still starting only you can manage it you really don't need much help managing it in it you can manage it while you expand okay because at, at for for somebody that is still starting and is, is kind of like on a budget like you don't have so much money to start up but you just want to start you can go for a no small pig pen you don't really need to employ workers so much you can just start it then later on 
while you are expanding then you bring in work no small pig pen it is good it will give you time it will give you time to grow in the business it will give you time to master the business and also it will also help you expand and also the pig droppings at seven months it has already turned to manure which can also profit you you can also sell it and make profits out of it. and if you want to go for the conventional way of pig farming the choice is yours okay the choice is yours I, I won't say I'm not condemning that others that other way of um, building your pig farm okay if you want to go for that one it's also fine just so that you have to be up and doing and a lot of things will be involved okay it's not like the other one that is easier to maintain and by the way i'm still saying it i'm not criticizing that other way of pig farming just i'm just um telling you why i feel like the other one is better don't forget i have a video i'm going to link it on the screen i have a video on the reasons why the no small pig pen for me i gave reasons why no small pig pen is good okay just click on it and watch and i also have a video where i'm going to be showing you how to build your no smell pig pen is on my channel i'm going to be leaving the link up on the screen so please you can click the link and watch it so let's go to the fifth thing you need to put in place if you want to start up a pig farm so the fifth one is buy quality breeding stock it is good and very very important to buy quality breeding stock that will help you produce healthy pigs and also help you fetch money when it's time to sell work with reputable breeders and purchase animals that come from a healthy line for me i would advise, advise you to go for a quality hybrid okay a quality hybrid or a pure breed pig any kind of pure breed pig is good i'm also going to make a video the type of pigs to stock in your farm the type of pigs to breed that will also fetch you good money i'll make a video on that okay so let's go to the next point sixth point is location of the farm okay where you intend to intend to start up your farm is really really important like the location is really really important that's a location where you'll be able to sell and where you'll be welcomed to start up your big farm environment and location is really really important because some of them if if for example you are thinking of starting up a big farm in a muslim um, populated environment they might not even welcome you to sell or even breed those pigs in that environment so location is a very big factor to consider also locate your farm where it will be easy for you to get feed so that you don't spend money in transportation like transporting feed from outside to your farm and also where you'll be able to to get buyers people that will that you can sell your pigs to okay it is really very important so you don't go around looking for people that will buy when it's time for harvesting okay position your farm in a very very good environment in a very very good location so imagine if your farm is located in a community that eats pork that loves pork getting buyers will be very easy selling it will really it will also be easy so that is why it's always good to consider wherever you want to start your big farm consider it before you start up okay consider it before you start up so please make sure you put all those things into consideration even before you buy the land if you're about to buy land even before you buy land or even before you before you start up before you think of citing it there okay and also if you don't really have much money on you and you want to start up a big farm you can decide to rent a a, a, a farm okay renting a farm is also good they do rent farm you can also decide to rent farm and not start um looking for where you buy land and the rest just rent your farm or if you don't have much money look for somebody that you can pair with and rent the farm because there's already structure there to just even reduce you to just reduce the stress of putting up structure rent the farm and just get good quality breeds high quality breeds and start up the business you're good to go in case you don't really have much money you can also rent a farm okay so please don't forget good location matters a lot when you want to start up your big farm 
Next one, number seven, is water supply. So animal farming in general requires adequate water supply, okay? It is really, really important. Pigs need water. They drink a lot of water. Remember, it helps them grow. It helps them regulate their body temperature. Remember, they don't have sweat pores. So drinking more water regulate their body temperature during the dry season, okay? So if you don't have good water supply, or you're not in a location where you can easily get water or let's say you don't have borehole please i would advise you to try and get water supply because pigs need water pigs really really need water any kind of animal farming in short need water let's say for example you're using the conventional method where you need to wash wash the pen bait them they will also drink from. how do you do it that conventional method, that's the cemented floor method where they will need to wash, um, wash the pen, bait the pigs and also where they will drink. How are you going to do it if you don't have water supply? So please, water is really, really important. It's really, really important in animal farming. Please make sure you need good, clean water, okay? Clean water for the pigs is really, really, really necessary and it is really important. So if you've watched this point, I hope you've subscribed. I hope you like this video i hope you like this video and i hope you've given me a thumbs up please give me a thumbs up so that you can help people that really need to see this to see this video and don't forget i'm into business you can contact me for any of your animal farm business tapolin pond consultancy getting piglets getting fingerlings and also building your no small pig pen imo setup um just one call away you can reach out to me on my facebook page at real only Udoe or my instagram page at only Udoe, okay just send me a dm and i'll answer you okay so the last but not the least is implement proper husbandry practice good husbandry practice are essential for keeping your pigs healthy and productive this includes giving them a clean environment and feeding them a proper balanced diet. Pigs require a balanced diet of protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. You can either grow your feet or you buy. Also, maintaining a clean environment is also necessary to avoid, you know, them getting sick, falling ill, um, anyhow, especially when it's time for swine fever. Okay, you know swine fever has its own time. Okay, so please maintain a healthy, clean, maintain a clean environment for your pigs. Clean the pen, do everything, every necessary thing you need to do. Clean your farm and all of that, and also give them balanced, healthy diets. And I hope I've been able to explain to you how to start up your pig farm and the important things you need to put in place to start up that pig farm okay so please and um, please if you watch this um to this point thank you so much to my um old time subscribers i love you thank you so much thank you for watching thank you for sticking with this channel like it's been a long time since i last posted yet you guys uh, are still here i still hear from you guys so i've been asking me are you still in the business this and that well 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 i'm still in the business just that um your girl has a lot of things on her hand but anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me. I really, really appreciate. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your comments in the comment section. Ask me questions, anything you'd like to do. And I'll see you in the next video.